a moment of silence for the definition of censored. They don't know what it means. Blizzard has been facing PR disaster after PR disaster, and they've become pretty well known for not knowing how to read a room. The Blitzchunk situation blew up. Diablo. Hey, what's this over here? What this is right here, by the way, for those who don't know, this was a dumb fuck who said she hoped she gets COVID to prove to everybody that it's not that big of a deal. Well, she got COVID, got hospitalized. So that was trending for a while. It was hilarious. Like a dumbass who taunts a bull then gets gored. The Immortals announcement was a failure, and one thing they love to do is censor useless things in games even when thousands of people say the changes are pointless. Blizzard- Thousands of people say one thing. There are what? Tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions at this point of players? Again, you're, you're trying to say like a third of the population of one nation matters when it comes to a global product. It does not. You are irrelevant to the market. They could lose all of you overnight, and it would not matter. Hell, they lost more than you, and it still didn't matter. They still make more money than you could ever have fucking imagined per day. Also, this is not censorship. This is them redoing an art style. That's it. ...has censored Hearthstone cards, characters in World of Warcraft... No, they didn't. They just changed the art style. And now they're censoring paintings in WoW. Stop calling everything censorship. You devalue the word. This is not censorship. If it was, this wouldn't fucking exist, you idiot. They would have erased it altogether. All they did was change the outfit slightly. It's a character redesign. Ow, an unsurprised. This is like complaining that Captain America or Iron Man's um, suits in the movies was censorship because it's different than the original fucking um, uniforms. Oh, Wolverine, he wore a black and silver uniform in the X-Men movie. This is censorship of Wolverine. He was he was wearing yellow and black in the fucking comic books and inside the original series. Like, they don't know what censorship is. It's just a fucking... It's a fucking bumper sticker they throw out now. It's like every other fucking bumper sticker. They don't know what it means, so they throw it at everything they don't like. Surprisingly, they're being roasted on the internet for it because they're facing a lot... Less than 200 retweets. Less than a thousand quote tweets, less than two thousand likes. This isn't being roasted. This is a dog yapping three blocks away. If it's noticed at all, I'd be amazed. A lot of public scrutiny right now, yet this is what they're doing, hoping that it will make people. <laughs> like, if you want to see what roasted looks like, look at their handling of the Diablo release, where it was like a mobile game that nobody wanted, and the fucking censorship around Hong Kong. That was fucking real backlash. This is not backlash. This is you guys crying into the void. Happy with them again. I have a couple of different articles I want to read and a lot of... Ex what are the odds that any of these articles are from a credible source and not just some fucking outrage merchant magazine that everybody fucking uses for this shit? Examples of censorship, but... It's not censorship. Before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content... No. ...the videos and the live streams no. in the description... ...and no. in World of Warcraft have now been changed to tone down the sexualization in the game in a move that's... Oh, yeah. As that's probably why they're doing it. Yeah, if you don't know what happened at um Activision, shit went down. Serious shit went down. Like, so bad, I'm amazed they're still allowed to operate. The scandal was essentially... People were sexually harassing and assaulting women in the office space, and it was completely covered up by everybody within it. I'm not joking. It was fucking horrendous, apparently. Women were assaulted, they were harassed, they were threatened, they were attacked. And this all came out not that long ago. So, yeah... Changing it because of that might be a reason why. You know, this this isn't censorship because you're going to try to make it like SJW's complaint. No, they probably did it because they look pretty fucking bad as it is. And now they're like having sexualized pictures and shit hanging up on the wall. As a response to the lawsuit that Activision is grappling with at the moment. In its own statement about the fallout of the lawsuit, the team behind one of the most popular MMORPGs in the world said they had felt sadness, pain, and anger, but 
Also, hope and resolve. Marking a new chapter in the game, the developer relayed that players would see changes to Shadowlands and WoW Classic in the interest of rebuilding trust between it and its community. So, so, so it's going to pay lip service to changing and not change at all. Watch, a few years from now, if that long, we're going to see another fucking scandal come out of this company. Because that's what it's always like. They've decided to come out and openly say they're going to be making changes to World of Warcraft. I'm not even sure if I really want to be playing their games right now either. Like, I was going to pick up, like, I was going to well, pick up, I own it. I already bought, like, a bunch of Call of Duties and shit I was going to play. But a lot of them are owned by, like, Activision. Call of Duties and other games, they have Activision stamped on them. I'm not sure if I want to play them at the moment. <laughs> I don't think I want to deal with shit like that. Classic, and also the newer um, version of the game, the new expansions like Shadowlands, they're going to be going through all of the content in the game and just kind of combing through it to change things that might seem good to consumers, that might gain that trust back with consumers, and these are the types of changes that they're making. Some of the changes in other Blizzard games, like Overwatch, have been a visible step away from the shocking stories described in the lawsuit. Others haven't been so helpful, such as the the renaming of achievements to remove the words sack and ho and now they're changing paintings in the game there are people leaving world of warcraft in droves because of imbalanced gameplay not enough new content and the game's getting stale yet they're going back to paintings to update them the because they're facing lawsuits for sexual misconduct you dumb fuck they're not going to be putting out content for some time, more than likely, because they're dealing with this shit. Like, if this was taken in a vacuum, it could make sense. But you literally referenced the lawsuit in that article. How do you not put two and two together and see that it makes four, not 20? These are their priorities. So, Wowhead had actually shared this. Yeah, priorities. Not looking bad because of a lawsuit happening right now. This could damage the company forever. Of course they're going to fucking work on looking better for the public eye right now. Does she not understand how anything works outside of her fucking room? There are days when I watch these videos and I can only imagine these motherfuckers have never spent a day outside. They have never touched grass. They don't know what it looks like or what color it is. They've never left their fucking rooms. Because it's very simple for somebody who's been outside of their home to understand why this is being done at this time. And they just don't get it. They just think, oh, they're changing it because I don't know why. They're just changing it because priorities, right? No, yeah, priorities, as in not looking like scum for this lawsuit coming up, you idiot. And this post is getting completely ratioed, okay? There are no people, it seems like, that are happy with these changes. It says some in-game paintings have received updates on the... Yeah, because the company's scum, you idiot. I guarantee you, most of these comments are either your fucking fans crying. Well, your fans. You don't have any fans. People like the quartering and um, Geeks and Gamers fans crying. And then, like, people just calling Activision shit. 9.1.5 PTR to tone down their sexuality. And they are... Yeah, just are crying. Yeah, that's also a fair point. It takes like 10 seconds to fix this. This is not what they said, by the way. Are getting thousands. Yeah, of course. The quartering stuck his fucking nose. I'm amazed he's willing to show his face anymore after what happened fucking last night. For those of you who don't know, what happened was the quartering was doing a stream where he was talking shit. To his, like, 12 viewers. Well, Vosh rolled in, pulled his dick out, and slapped him across the face with it. And the quartering just sat there, doing nothing, while Vosh fans spammed Vosh bad, Vosh rad, and challenged him to a debate. Vosh threw the gauntlet down and walked off swaggering. And the quartering did nothing but meekly, like, impotently, like, me, 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 at him. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> The quiver lives up to his fucking name and breaks down like a baby when Vosh walks through the door. 
Um, he can't even play like the, well, he's a nobody, so I don't have to. Vosh is literally bigger than him right now on stream. Like, Vosh's streams have more people in it in, like, one day than the quartering sees, I think, in, like, a month, if not more. So we can't even play that little card anymore. In thousands of comments saying how bad of a move this truly is. So as you can see on the left is the original painting and on the right is the new one. They added like this white fabric to the middle of her body. Like I like this design better anyway because this actually looks like something somebody would wear. And this just looks like a fucking porn about to happen. They completely covered up her stomach. And like look, look at this. This is actually a pretty nice outfit. Area. They covered up any cleavage that she I don't know why they got rid of the belt. The belt could have stayed. I would have liked to see the belt stay. I would like the pauldrons to stay this color. Like the black with the gold. But other than the belt and the pauldrons, this is actually better. And they did shrink her boobs. The face does look better. They didn't shrink it. They just put cloth over it. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're the same size. They just have cloth covering it. They look smaller. That's it. They're not actually smaller. The right side. But clearly the new one also, is much higher. Yeah, also this picture is smaller. Look. Yeah. So yeah, if this does look smaller at all, it's because the picture itself is fucking smaller. Quality, but World of Warcraft isn't a game for kids. It's a game with adults. It's a game for everybody. They literally, they literally sell it to kids. What are you talking about? This isn't like a blood gore game with like adult theme. No, it's like kids play this game all the fucking time. Is she really going to be this fucking delusional about who plays games now? Adult language, adult jokes, violence. So why does it matter? Violence, a.k.a. your character vaguely swings in a direction. The other character goes, Ugh, and they lose like 10 points. And then they vaguely swing at you. You make Ugh, noise, and you lose 10 points. And you can turn off the blood effects entirely with parental controls. This game is for kids, too. Like, I played this when I was a kid. Well, kid. I was, like, young. But, like, I know kids who play this game. It's not just for adults. Matter if a few paintings are sexy. And they even went on to change more designs, more characters. Because they literally replaced a painting of a female with fruit. This yeah, because this is literally fucking porn. <laughs> like, this there's no purpose but to be, like, porn. This is absolutely ridiculous. Instead of remastering the painting of the woman, they literally replaced her with fruits, with oranges and lemons. I mean, they replaced it with a more tasteful picture, let's be honest. <laughs> and tons of people also think that this is absolutely ridiculous. I want to read a couple of the comments here. I want to read a couple of comments that I have cherry-picked ahead of time that proves my point 100% or that I can twist to prove my point because I'm not actually going to show real comments that might prove me wrong showing that people are just mad at the company as a whole, and they really mad about this being changed. This little thing that changed that nobody gives a fuck about, outside of coomers and dumbasses on the internet who just want to rage about stuff. Here, I had actually said taking out a painting of an attractive woman in a game for adults to protect a fic- Game for adults. It's not for adults, you dumb fuck. Uh, lady, it's literally rated PG-13, which means kids play this fucking game. Why are you this stupid? Do you think? Has your brain ever worked once in your life? I don't think it has. Fictional woman's body. That's Blizzard in a nutshell, apparently. Yeah, when facing a lawsuit involving sexual harassment and assault? Yeah, they're going to be changing shit like this a lot. Expect to see a lot more of it in future games. Because they want to hide how scummy they fucking are. Uh, quartering had said this definitely makes up for the years of harassment by leadership. Sexism is defeated. Did you hear what you just said? Now, they have a history of sexism. A massive lawsuit just came out of them assaulting, harassing, and doing nothing to stop it. Actually encouraging it in some ways within their corporate structure. Now, why would they be making this change right now when this lawsuit just dropped? Why? Think. It takes seconds to think. All right? So another commenter said, I...
Again, look, they're not understanding what's happening. They're being sued for this shit. Of course they're going to change stuff in games. They're going to make it look like they're trying to do something. They're not going to change, by the way. It's going to be just as bad. It's never going to stop because, of, of course, it fucking won't. Until something drastically happens to impact their bottom line, they're not going to change. It's just going to be the same. But they don't seem to understand. It's not because they people give a fuck about this stuff. Because they don't. They don't give a fuck. I guarantee you they had plans to just update the pictures, make them high res. That's not what's happening. They're changing it because they're being sued. Because this scandal just came out. I don't know why Blizzard cares so much about stuff like this. Like who the F cares about a painting that most people did Rated for teens and above. So teenagers play the game didn't even know existed and it's true people say to me oh why are you complaining about these insignificant changes because oh these changes are nothing important so my question is why did they change them if it's such because they're facing a lawsuit you dumb fuck such a small insignificant thing why did they put the time into changing these things because changing something like that takes again like 10 minutes tops because they already had the art prepared. All they got to do is put it in the thing, switch them out, done. It literally is that easy, by the way, in some games where they just literally say, okay, replace this art with this art. It's not just about small changes. It's about the narrative and the attitude that these companies are. It's all about the narrative. Don't ever forget that when watching these shows. Well, these videos. They're not really shows. Shows have production. These videos. It's all about the narrative. They don't care about this. None of these people care. None of them. They don't give a fuck. They don't care about the games. They don't care about the lore. They don't care about the stories. They care about your clicks. They want them because it gives them money. That's the bottom line here. And before anybody says, I'm doing this for clicks, motherfucker, I'm not monetized and I will never be monetized. I will reject it out the fucking ass. I don't want it. Because if I monetize, I have to stop talking. About a lot of this stuff because it gets fucking shut down constantly. I'm not doing it. This is about pushing back against these motherfuckers and their bullshit. Trying to push. When you take everything in totality, you can see they're pushing desexualizing characters and even paintings based on the presumption that's what modern audiences want. When it comes to Oh my god. It, one, it literally is. Modern audiences like the kids that play this game. No, I don't mean like the 60 year olds like Asmogold. I mean, like, the teenagers who play this game, most of them don't care. They're Zoomers. They don't think like you do because you're a fucking boomer. And two, they're not doing this for a narrative, you dumb fuck. They're doing it because they're being sued for this shit. To censorship, you either call all it's not censorship. All of it out and don't support any of it, or you just let it happen. The big lawsuit that came out against them a few months ago basically painted every male that's part of Activision Blizzard as terrible people that do nothing but insult and objectify women. But apparently the higher ups at the company are making sure developers are oh getting my God. Work done to keep players around, like changing random people. Okay, so she just referenced the lawsuit again. The corporate nature of it, the fact that it's a PR disaster. Why is she not putting two and two together? paintings in the game where a woman might be showing a little too much cleavage and this isn't the first time that blizzard has censored content in their game it's not censorship there are plenty of other examples let's go to this one Her yeah owner yeah it's not censorship you dumbass it's not that's not what that word means future me on the fucking screen right now put it up there they need to see it are not censorship says blizzard they literally tried to say oh we're not censoring things we're just slightly changing them which is yes those are two very different things you dumb fuck ridiculous so this article is actually from 2019 but blizzard's been censoring things for years so i wanted it's to not censorship bring it up here is the art for bite the old one is on the left, the right one is the new ver- Yeah, this doesn't look like WoW's art style. This does. Look at this. This doesn't look like WoW's art style anymore. This does. Version on the left, you can tell that he's biting into something. There's blood, there's a little bit of violence there, but on the right, no, no. The new version doesn't have any of that. No blood. This isn't violence? Blood, no biting into anything. The creature is basically just showing off his teeth to look a little bit intimidating. Deadly shot. Here's another great example of the censorship. This isn't censorship. This is just changing the art style. 
IPs do this all the time. Card games do this all the fucking time. Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't censorship. This isn't what it means. Cryptid Blizzard's been doing over the years. On the left, the old... Also, Jesus fucking Christ. You're shooting a fucking... What is it? Turin? With, I, I can never pronounce that name right. The Turin with the fucking ballista? Are you kidding me? Deadly shot is an arrow actually going into a character. And on the right, the arrow is going away from the character. Away from the battle. So there's none of that... There's none of that blood or that violence anymore. Of course... These are the types of things that uh, clearly matter to Hearthstone players. In this example, they decide. Hey, wait, watch you skip that one. Watch you skip that one. Watch you skip that one. to completely change the card and get rid of the female character on the left is succubus you can see she's clearly there she's not wearing a lot she's very sexy why is this even battle cry can they do battle cries in the game they couldn't when i was playing see and on the right they basically just changed the card to fell stalker and the female is nowhere to be found they decided to completely remove this card from the game in hopes that people would be okay with the new fell stalker art it was actually a bit of a self-report if you were a warlock and you walked around with that thing by the way because it wasn't that good in battle you wanted like this guy or the next guy here's another one wind fury heart wait this is this isn't censored this is just slightly changed this isn't even censored. This is just slightly changed. Again, this is just them updating the art. Why do you care about it being sexy? Why? Why are you looking at this for sex? Don't you have sex in real life? You poor, pathetic people? Have you never touched another person in your life? Do you not know what human touch is? I don't need to go to card games for sex. Very odd that you think you have to. That's okay. Look at these motherfuckers. How is this different? It's showing the same amount of skin. She's just wearing some fucking skirt thing. RP. Clearly, they've changed the position of her. They've made it so the wings are covering up a lot of her body. They're just. Uh, no, they're not. This one feather covers up a little bit of fucking gut. What are you talking about? Trying to make a lot of changes, thinking that. Oh, there's not a lot of changes here. What are you talking? You show this to somebody who's never played the game, they'd probably think, okay, so this is like first edition, this is second edition? They just kind of, up maybe this is an upgrade of this one? People are going to be okay with this, you know? It's only one or two small changes, but all of these changes do add up, and people don't forget about things like this. And if those weren't enough examples of Blizzard censoring things in their games, here's another article from only a couple of months ago that I talked about. World of Warcraft has begun censoring slurs in-game. Using reserved words will now block your messages from- Okay, why does she do that with her hands? It's not air quotes, you idiot. ...from being sent entirely. They're even censoring player speech in their games now. Yes, if you use slurs, it will be fucking banned, you idiot. It says World of Warcraft will now block messages containing reserved words arriving as uh, part of a small moderation update discovered by WoWhead. For years, WoW has censored certain words um, by obfuscation as part of a mature language filter, but... So they used a racial slur, got banned. Wow, amazing. Now, it appears the game will block messages from being sent entirely if they contain so-called reserved words. Over the Keep in mind, the reserved word in that example was a racial slur. Why is it bad that they're not letting you say racial slurs in chat? Over the years, Blizzard has definitely made a lot of games that people do genuinely love, and a lot of people do really love World of Warcraft, but unfortunately... The Are she literally saying that I can't say the N-word anymore? This is literally 1984 now. It's the fucking meme come full circle. They're literally just mad they can't say the N-word. These are the things that developers are worried on. Instead of focusing on making new content for their games, fixing mechanics, and fixing bugs that are in their titles, they're worried about changing painting, so maybe this game will... At a time when they're being sued for this shit? Yeah, that's where their priorities are. Because being sued costs them money.
They're not losing anything by not updating content for a little bit. Will appeal more to modern audiences. But that's all that I really That's not why they're doing it. They're being sued, you dumbass. Every corporation in history since the beginning of time when fucking suing them was a thing, they would do this. When they're being sued, they start doing a bunch of PR shit. Look, we're not how we used to be. We're totally better now. Look, we're not this bad anymore. We're this good. Aren't we amazing? See how stupid this little lawsuit is? It doesn't make sense, does it? Would, would somebody who's really this bad be like this? No. They're obviously lying. It's fucking the lawsuit doing this. I don't know why the fuck... Well, I know why, because the narrative demands it, but, like, it's just fucking stupid. This is the kind of disconnect shit that happens all the fucking time that makes it so hard to deal with these issues. Because people would point out, okay, so this is a PR stunt, this is stupid, and these idiots will latch onto it, take over the movement, and cry all the time. It's what they did with the fucking Tea Party, the Libertarians, all of them. Every time something comes up to address an issue, these guys latch onto it to push their agenda, and they fucking ruin it. It just becomes a bunch of idiots screaming the N-word. 